Hey everybody, it's time for another episode of Up To No Goof. This is the show where I talk about Disney as I remember it. And today, I'll be talking about the top 10 Disney bromances. Mmm. Mmm. Bromance. That's a, <laughs> that's a bro shake hands. They flex in the name. So the criteria to be on this list is both characters have to be male, they have to be bestest buddies, and uh, they can't have a father figure friendship. I'll explain that in a little bit. Because the first character on our list is Baloo the Bear. Uh, I know he's only one character, but think about this. This is, this, is, this is kind of the defining character. Baloo has a father figure relationship with Mowgli and Kit from Tailspin. That doesn't count. Even though they are best friends, Baloo is more like a big Papa Bear. You know what I'm saying? They, actually, they both call him Papa Bear, case in point. But Baloo became bestest pals with King Louie. Oh, sound effect. <laughs> Baloo and King Louie. Hashtag Baloo-y. Oh. In the movie, they started off as rivals, but then when they started jamming again, they had a little jazz session. Then they became BFFs, and in Tailspin, Baloo was always like hanging out with Louie and like running through his shop and doing missions with him and stuff like that. So they became best friends. And that's why he's number 10 on the list. And he starts it off because he's a good friend to everybody. So a running theme you'll see in this list is a lot of these best friends actually started as rivals and then became best friends. A perfect example of that is Buzz and Woody from Toy Story. Buzz and Woody, hashtag Buzzooty. When Buzz was introduced, Woody didn't like him, but then Buzz did some things. Then they became BFFs and the rest is history. As a matter of fact, they're such good friends that there is literally a song about them being good friends. I know that you think the song is about Andy and his toys, but it's really about Woody and Buzz. You got a friend in me. And sticking on that CGI Pixar life, we've got Monsters, Inc. That's right, Mike and Sully are also on this list. Hashtag Wazowski, favorite couple 2015, Wazowski. They went to college together and they weren't really pals. It was kind of like the nerd and the jock and they didn't get along. And through a series of events, they became best pals. Mike is such a good friend to Sully that even when Sully was literally carrying a diseased baby. Mike was like, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. And not only that, I'll put my girlfriend on hold. I'll fix that later. Bros before monstros. <laughs> I gotta say, when it comes to bromances, Pixar has figured it out because next on the list is another pair of bros who are superheroes. Oh! Next on the list is Mr. Incredible and Frozone. Hashtag Incredizone. Boom! Not only did they fight crime together, which is the ultimate act of brodom, uh, but later on when they were retired, they still hung out and relived the glory days and didn't go bowling, but instead saved people from burning buildings like real bros. Superhero bros. Okay. Sometimes you're not allowed to be friends, okay? But bromance is stronger than that. You know, like Hopper and Todd. Hashtag Topper. They weren't supposed to be buddies. As a matter of fact, one of them was specifically bred to hunt the other. And in the act of hunting, he was like, you know what, man? No, you and me go way back. It's not happening, okay? It's not happening today because I love you. That is a pair of bros. So this friendship goes way back in time to when I was a wee lad being read nursery rhymes. This is a weird couple because they're, they're kind of sort of in love, but not really, but they kind of are, but not really, but they totally are. And that goes to Pooh and Piglet. Yeah, I know, right? Hashtag Pooglet. Because <laughs> Pooh is like, um, oh, I've got a rumbly in my tumbly. And Piglet's always like, a uh, uh, Pooh, uh, oh, whatever you want to do, I'm going to do it too. Uh, Pooh Bell, there's honey in this hole. Will you jump down there and get it? Okay, I'll get stuck, but whatever. That's how they work. But Pooh and Piglet, they're on my list. I just think that they're long-term friends. They've been friends forever and they get into all kinds of trouble, uh, regardless of whether it's necessary. Next on the list is another one of those we rub each other the wrong way, but that's what makes us best pals. And that goes to Cogsworth and Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. Hashtag Cogsmere, <laughs> Lumiworth. They've been friends even though they've been turned into uh, furniture, for lack of a better word. But not only that, they've been furniture for how many years? I mean, 10 years or something like that? B. Ah, uh, bro, be our bro, one, two, three, and here we go. Number three is special on my list because it's actually a tie between two different bromances. Okay, number one is Hercules and Pegasus. Hashtag Hercules. Number two is Kristoff and Sven. Sven Stoff. Why are they a tie? Because they're basically the same bromance. I mean, think about it. Uh, it's a guy, a big guy, actually, and his quadruped best pal, who doesn't speak English but totally understands it. Pegasus scoops in to save Hercules, Sven scoops in to save Kristoff. They do a lot of scooping, they do a lot of galloping, and uh, yeah, that's why it's a tie. 
I don't know if you ever realize it, but it's kind of, kind of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Knuckleheads. And now we've made it down to number two. Number two on the list is probably my favorite bromance in the Disney universe, although it's one of the more, you know, kind of untraditional ones. Again, this one is probably the definition of a frenemy friendship. A friendship? Frenemanship? Cinnamon roll? And that would go to Pacha and Cusco from The Emperor's New Groove. Pachko? Hashtag Pachko. They start off completely despising each other, but through trials and tribulations, they become bestest of pals. And at the end of it, as a matter of fact, I mean, Pacha gets hooked up. His uh, bestest buddy is literally the richest person in the country. So, mm, uh, Park is off to you, pal. Awesome job. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one bromance in the Disney universe, according to me, <laughs> it's Shang and Ping from Mulan. Ah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> In reality, the number one bromance in all the Disney universe, heck, and practically every universe that exists, is of course, Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest, laughing back and forth of what the other had to say. Robin Hood and Little John. I mean, come on. Hashtag Little Ron running through the forest. First of all, let's be real here. In the actual story, like, Little John has to join up with Robin Hood, and that's a cause it's like, bro, you live in the forest, and you rob people. <laughs> I'm in, you know, like that's that's the reality of their friendship. They're just best pals and then Robin needs to get the girl and little John's like, okay, let's go. So in the comments below, let me know what your favorite Disney bromances are. And of these bromances, I wanna know your favorite bromance couple name. Hashtag Pooglet, am I right? Hashtag Pooglet, I think is where it's at. But you guys let me know what your favorite was. So down in the description below, uh, I'll have a couple other links to my other Up To No groups, so make sure you watch those. Uh, and let me know what you think. I, I love hearing the opinions. And also let me know what you think the next Up To No group should be. So far, I've actually been going off of your suggestions, so I'd love to see what you guys have in mind. Although, I think my next one is gonna be good. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, do all the other social media stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!